Here's a video on how I installed the Kicker CS 3.5 inch speakers into my Pentelli 4P arm. Oh, as an added bonus, stick around to the end, where I have a preview announcement of an upcoming project. If you're looking for that pro how-to video on how to do things, uh, check the channel name. Like, subscribe, don't. It's up to you. Does this look right? Ow! Where did I put my screws? I'm not sure this is how it's supposed to go. Alright, so real quick, the tools that I use. Something to pry off the speaker grill cover. A little tiny Phillips head screwdriver. A little stubby screwdriver, or if you've got uh, an impact bit or something that's a Phillips head screwdriver and you've got some strong fingers, you might be able to use that as well. Uh, ratchet, a 7 millimeter socket, and grab an extension just in case I need it. So I'm going to set you right here, so hopefully you can see real well. I went ahead and unlocked the glove box and dropped it down. If yours is like mine, there's two little screws right here. Go ahead and just take these out. And set them someplace safe where you will not lose them. Grab your impact bit or your little stubby, stick it right up in here, and pull these screws out. There's two at the top on the right and the left. I think there might be some on the bottom as well. Let me take a look. When you get the second one out, you'll see this little metal piece comes with it. That's what attaches the uh, magnets in the glove box to dash yep and there's a couple more on the bottom and there's the other one with the little metal piece at this point you can go ahead and close it, it won't stay shut because the magnets are gone, and pull out these two screws at the very bottom. And with that, the glove box kind of slides out. And now you've got great access in the room here. Uh, these little cup holders, they just pop right on out, just like that. So now you'll be able to reach in from the top and the bottom. Uh, going over to the driver's side, it becomes a little bit more difficult, but I believe I just installed the driver's side with cup holder access. I didn't really even need to bother with this. It's just, it's there, may as well. So you can unplug the speaker right there and set those wires out the way where they won't get lost and pour the grill cover I go right here and right here and that just there. might be able to push it from the back might make it a little bit easier again there's one large tab on the outside edges and two small ones on the inside and from here you can see that I've just got one screw on either side. And on the back there is that seven millimeter nut. Let me grab this. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see what we did here. Was I have the screw, and then rear mounted the speaker. This is the hole that's already there, and I'll show you that here in a second. So the screw goes through the dash, through the speaker. I broke the clip in half that comes with it intentionally, just so I could use it as a washer, and then put one of the factory nuts right back on top of it. You could double nut that if you want, just to make it extra tight, but I've run this thing around for a couple hundred miles and not had it come loose. And for this other side, it is the same way. Just like that. And it was again just this screw going through the dash. I don't remember if I drilled this hole or if this hole was already here. in a bit closer so you can see this real well or as well as my light will allow on this GoPro so this screw hole right here I know is where the uh, let me get to better light so right here on the outside edge there's a little nubby thing and I just grabbed a Dremel and took it off at the, at the base you could use anything you want to cut that off. And this other one, this other little tip right here fits in right there. So I must have drilled that out. And as long as you come down from this edge and just give yourself enough headroom for the screw to sit, sit in there, that's really about all you need. It's just enough room for that head to sit right there. Really bad light, I apologize for that. All right, smart person once told me that lighting matters. I'm not sure who that was, but yeah. Okay, so right there, that's where you want to drill that little hole, just big enough for the screw to fit in. You can go ahead and stick a drill bit in one of these other holes, see what size they are. I think that's what I did, and then just drilled one right there next to it. All right, let's do a little uh, demonstration of the differences between the speakers and how to use the radio. All right, real quick though, before I do that demonstration, so here's the differences in the speakers. Let me see if I can get these both on camera. There you go. So there's a difference in the speakers from the sides. You can see how they have different mountings. And if I put the kicker right over the, uh, the factory speaker, you can see that it is about the same size, but those tabs do stick out quite a bit further. But you'll need those for installing them in the dash. That's the CSC 35s are the ones that I have. And we'll go with the depth of the speakers. They are fairly similar. This one actually had a, a the factory speaker was actually a lot better than what I thought it was going to be when I tore it open. But it's got a decent sized magnet on it. The kicker is obviously bigger. It's just a larger magnet, more. Uh, room for the cone to move. And then of course you see that this is a two-way speaker rather than the one-way. But let me go ahead and throw this bad boy back in there and we'll give it a listen. Okay, so I did it again and I lost all my footage yet again. So I went ahead and re-reinstalled the factory speaker over here and got the kicker over here. And real quick, let's listen to the radio, and I'm going to throw on some stick figure, a nice little throwback rendition song. Uh, there is, if you go through the menu, if you click through it, you do have a loudness on and off. Let me restart that song for you. All right, one other quick tip I'm going to throw in here. Uh, on each of these, I installed the speaker terminals going up. I'm not sure if it really matters. I know it kind of puts the speaker going in upside down, but 
if for whatever reason I needed to gain access to these, uh, it'd be a whole lot easier to just pull the cup holders out rather than having to disassemble the entire dash and pull the glove box out again. So if you're wondering which way I did it, uh, that's how. Tabs up. All right, so once you get the uh, speaker installed, get the dash all put back together, this little wire, let me make sure GoPro doesn't do some weird things. This wire that's right here that connects to your speakers, make sure you put that to the outside of your glove box. Otherwise, when you go to throw your cup holder back in, you're gonna smash that wire down and you could damage or break it. So make sure that you got the, uh, the wires on there in the right spot. And then just, there you go, done. All right, now for that sweet bonus material. So I was looking all over for some uh, rock sliders or step rails or something to add to the side of this. And what I did is I went ahead and mocked up over, uh, or used some two by twos in wood because those are one and a half inches, which is probably what I would use for any kind of a step rail or something on here. And so I've got these two designs here, slightly different angles on, on a couple of them. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw one of these on just so you can see what it looks like. And eventually I'm gonna get myself a welder. I'm gonna try out welding for the first time. Let's try this, so it ought to be fun. And we'll uh, get some steel and build these things up and see what they look like. All right, I went ahead and just threw them on real quick just so you could see what the mock-up would look like. I'll probably paint them a nice bed liner black. You got them so they barely stick out from the edge. It gives a nice little four and a half, four and three quarters inch step right there some nice little angles to it but yeah and with this uh, size 9 boot you'll see that it fits very nicely right there so yeah that's that's going to be uh, the model of what I'm going to build as some step rails Look pretty nice.